Finn and Liam. Sorry for the interruption, uh, but I'm back now, and and we we are at the last two chapters of Danny Meadow Mouse. So let's let's uh, let's get going. Chapter twenty three. Reddy Fox grows curious. Danny Meadow Mouse had sat perfectly still for a long time inside the old tomato can in which he had found a refuge from Redtail the Hawk. He didn't dare so much as put his head out for a look around, lest Redtail should be circling overhead, ready to pounce on him. If I stay here long enough, he'll get tired and go away, if he hasn't already, thought Danny. This has been a pretty exciting morning so far, and I find that I am a little tired. I may as well take a nap while I'm waiting to make sure that the way is clear. With that, Danny curled up in the old tomato can. But it wasn't meant that Danny should have that nap. He had closed his eyes, but his ears were still open. And presently he heard soft footsteps drawing near. His eyes flew open, and he forgot all about sleep, you may be sure, for those footsteps sounded familiar. They sounded to Danny very, very much like the footsteps of... Whom do you think? Why, Reddy Fox! Danny's heart began to beat faster as he listened. Could it be? He didn't dare peep out. Presently, a little whiff of scent blew into the old tomato can. Then Danny knew it was Reddy Fox. Oh dear, I hope he doesn't find out that I am in here, thought Danny. I wonder what under the sun has brought him up here just now. If the truth were to be known, it was curiosity that had brought Reddy up there. Reddy had been hunting for his breakfast some distance away on the green meadows when Redtail the hawk had tried so hard to catch Danny Meadow Mouse. Reddy's sharp eyes had seen Redtail the minute he left the tree in pursuit of Danny, and he had known by the way Redtail flew that he saw something he wanted to catch. He had watched Redtail swoop down and had heard his scream of rage when he missed Danny because Danny had dodged into the old tomato can. He had seen Redtail strike and strike again at something on the ground and finally fly off in disgust with empty claws. Now I wonder what it was Redtail was after and why he didn't get it, thought Reddy. He acts terribly put out and disappointed. I believe I'll go over there and find out. Off he started at a smart trot towards the patch of short grass where he had seen Redtail the hawk striking at something on the ground. As he drew near, he crept very softly until he reached the very edge of the open patch. There he stopped and looked sharply all over it. There was nothing to be seen but an old tomato can. Reddy had seen it many times before. Now what under the sun could Redtail have been after here? Thought Reddy. The grass isn't long enough for a grasshopper to hide in, and yet Redtail didn't get what he was after. It's very queer. It's certainly very queer. He trotted out and began to run back and forth with his nose to the ground, hoping that his nose would tell him what his eyes couldn't. Back and forth, back and forth he ran, and then suddenly he stopped. Ha! exclaimed Reddy. He had found the scent left by Danny Meadow Mouse when he ran ac across towards the old tomato can. Right up to the old can, Reddy's nose led him. He hopped over the old can, but on the other side he could find no scent of Danny Meadow Mouse. In a flash he understood, and a gleam of satisfaction shone in his yellow eyes as he turned back to the old can. He knew that Danny must be hiding in there. I've got you this time, he snarled as he sniffed at the opening in the end of the can. Chapter 24, Reddy Fox Loses His Temper. Reddy Fox had caught Danny Meadow Mouse, and yet he hadn't caught him. He had found Danny hiding in the old tomato can, and it, and it didn't enter Reddy's head that he couldn't get Danny out when he wanted to. He was in no hurry. He had, he had had a pretty good breakfast of grasshoppers, and so he thought he would torment Danny a while be, before gobbling him up. He lay down so that he could peep in at the open end of the old can and see Danny trying to make himself as small as possible at the other end. 
Reddy grinned until he showed all his long teeth. Reddy is always a bully, especially when his victim is a great deal smaller and weaker than himself. I got you this time, Mr. Smarty, haven't I? taunted Reddy. Danny didn't say anything. You think you've been very clever because you have fooled me two or three times, don't you? Well, this time I've got you where your tricks won't work, continued Reddy. So what are you going to do about it? Danny didn't answer. The fact is, he was too frightened to answer. Besides, he didn't know what he could do. So he just kept still, but his bright eyes never once left Reddy's cruel face. For all his fright, Danny was doing some hard thinking. He had been in tight places before. Okay, that's my cat's tail over the camera lens. Now stop that. Kitty, stop. Behave yourself. Do you want to get on camera? Do you want to talk to Finn and Liam? Oh my goodness, you're so big. Yes, say hello. Say hello to Finn and Liam. And now say goodbye. Goodbye. Let's see. Uh, for all his fright, Danny was doing some hard thinking. He had been in tight places before and had learned never to give up hope. Something might happen to frighten Reddy away. Anyway, Reddy had to get him out of that old can before he would admit that he was really caught. For a long time, Reddy lay there licking his chops and saying all the things he could think of to frighten poor Danny Meadow Mouse. At last, he grew tired of this and made up his mind that it was time to end it and Danny Meadow Mouse at the same time. He thrust his sharp nose in at the opening at the end of the old can, but the opening was too small for him to get more than his nose in, and he only scratched it on the sharp edges without so much as touching Danny. I'll pull you out, said Reddy and thrust in one black paw. Danny promptly bit it so hard that Reddy yelped with pain and pulled it out in a hurry. Presently, he tried again with the other paw. Danny bit this one harder still. And Reddy danced with pain and anger. Then he lost his temper completely. A very foolish thing to do, as it always is. He hit the old can, and away it rolled with Danny Meadow Mouse inside. This seemed to make Reddy angrier than ever. He sprang after it and hit it again. Then he batted it first this way and that way, growing angrier and angrier. And all the time, Danny Meadow Mouse managed to keep inside, although he got a terrible shaking up. Back and forth across the patch of short grass, Reddy knocked the old can, and he was in such a rage that he didn't notice where he was knocking it to. Finally, he sent it spinning into the long grass on the far side of the open patch, close to one of Danny's private little paths. Like a flash, Danny was out and scurrying along the little path, he dodged into another and presently into a third, which brought him to a tangle of barbed wire left there by Father Br Farmer Brown when he had built a new fence. Under this, he was safe. And here's a picture. Like a flash, Danny dodged into a tangle of barbed wire with Reddy hot on his heels. exclaimed Danny, breathing very hard. That was the narrowest escape yet, but I guess I'll get that special grass seed I started out for after all. And he did. Well, to this day, Reddy Fox wonders how Danny got out of the old tomato can without his knowing it. And so you see what temper does for those who give it rain. It cheats them of the very thing they seek so hard to gain. Danny has had many more adventures, but there isn't room to tell about them here. Besides, Grandfather Frog is anxious that you should hear about the queer things that have happened to him. They are told in the next book. The End. I hope you guys have enjoyed listening to this book as much as I have enjoyed reading it to you. I'm... Uh, I love reading aloud, and uh, if, if you ever get tired, though, of the books, let me know, and I'll, and I'll stop recording them. But uh, the next book we're going to read is um, Grandfather Fro The Adventures of Grandfather Frog.
Frog. And I'll tell you why that name is so important to everybody in our family. See you next time. Bye.